HD1, RT82, RT3S all support multiple ID. I will show how to use it. Check HD1 first. Menu. Function select. Radio ID. We can edit the ID number and the ID name here. HD1 supports save total 32 ID. Edit it via radio keypad or on the software. Can Now, let's select one ID we want to use for the channel. Select this one for test. Press PTT, we can go home page directly. The radio ID is my ID, so it will show my information. Change to another ID. We can know that we need to set HD1 radio ID in the channel. So, different channels supposed to use different ID in one radio. We have better to set the most commonly used ID as the first one. When we program radio on software, the default ID is the first one, so we don't need to select it for every channel. Only need to revise it when we need to use another ID. We can edit the frequency and all the other settings here. Make it can communicate with the other radio. We select this radio ID different with the band B. Select the same contacts with the other SD1. Here I want to see if another SD1 turn on the promise curse. You don't need to concern if the contact is same or not. Promise curse function makes the SD1 ignore the group call contact limits. This is HD1 radio ID. Now let's learn RT82 and RT3S radio ID. RT82 and RT3S operation are same, so only check the RT82 here. This radio ID is the current ID you are using. It is for all channels in the radio. These three ID we can edit and write to the radio in advance. So we can switch ID via radio keypad later. All we can check here, it allows you edit the ID via radio keypad directly.
can select a new ID. Both channels ID is changed. Write a new ID directly. Thanks. If you want to learn more, please follow us.